Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have Thrift to Glory number four. Um, so pretty excited to show you the new items I picked up. I have picked up five items since last time um, and I have also sold a couple which is always good. Obviously that's the aim of the series. Um, so we're slowly increasing the, um, increasing the balance and then hopefully we'll get to that end goal. Um, so yeah, uh, without further ado, I'll get into the items. Um, just quickly before, um, I want to ask uh, you a question now before people kind of get off the video. Um, if you, uh, basically my question is, do you want me to Im implement other ways of making money by buying and selling clothes? or just stick to thrifting. Obviously it is thrift the glory, uh, but I did mention at the beginning of the series that I there was the possibility that I could uh, buy and sell other brands such as like Supreme or whatever. Um, but obviously I know a lot of people kind of disagree with that um, and that is totally fine. So I wanna hear your opinion. If you think I should do that because obviously there is potential to make money there, um, then feel free um, but if you d disagree then make sure you let me know in the comments and I'll go with whatever um, whatever's the best the, the best um, outcome or whatever the biggest outcome is basically um, so yeah anyway the first item of today is this North Face fleece um, I picked this up yesterday I picked most of this stuff up yesterday um, and it, yeah it's really nice quarter zip North Face fleece um, black obviously size like extra large but it kind of fits like a large um, and then it's got like the white silvery uh, little logo here as you're probably very commonly um, commonly recognized um, so yeah really nice piece I I'm a bit of an idiot because basically I recorded this video yesterday um, but I missed out on item so I need to record it again but I've thrown all the labels in the bin um, unless I can find them but I think I've thrown most of them in the bin, unfortunately. Um, so you're going to have to take my word for it. Um, I paid £5.99 for this. Um, I had them all on the spreadsheet anyway. I did all the spreadsheet before I threw them in the bin. Uh, but yeah, £5.99. I bought this from um, the British Heart Foundation. Um, so yeah, that's where I got this one from. Uh, next pickup is actually... Uh, all of this stuff I picked up yesterday, apart from this, um, I actually picked this up a while ago and I forgot to show it, or like I haven't recorded an episode since. Um, so this is a pretty unique item, I haven't seen anything like this before. It is a vintage Nike polo, um, and as you can see, it's got a quarter zip on it as well. It's like a thicker polo shirt, um, and yeah, it's got a quarter zip, which I think is pretty cool. I haven't seen one like that before. Um, and then you've got the nice little vintage Nike badge here. Um, so yeah pretty cool piece indeed as i said haven't seen anything like this so pretty unique and it's always nice to find like a quite a unique item i paid five pound for this or four pound 99 um and yeah nice hopefully this will sell soon um i put the pictures up i forgot to put pictures up before with the other stuff which is a bit like when i first bought it which is a bit stupid but i've got pictures up now um as i have with all the other items as well so hopefully that sells soon. I can't actually remember where I got that from. I believe it was like a Sue Rider maybe, but I'm not entirely sure as it wasn't the place that I usually go to. Um, but yeah, nice little quarter zip Nike piece. Um, next item that I picked up yesterday is this True Religion t-shirt. Um, so as you can tell, it's like a burgundy color. Hopefully the lighting shows that, but I know it's quite bright coming through that window. Um, I did look this up. I don't know how to legit check uh, true religion because obviously it's like a higher-end brand um, but it all looks pretty legit the the um, right of the labeling on the back looks pretty pretty legit I will show you that uh, there you go um, unfortunately when I bloody pulled the tag out they'd put it they hadn't put it like usually they put it like on this bit if it doesn't have a tag um, but for some reason they put it like on that which is really annoying so it's made a tiny little hole um fortunately you can't really you can't really see it um but yeah so that was a bit annoying um but yeah anyway burgundy t-shirt with the little uh the little horseshoe logo here obviously with the true religion it does have some sort of like certi logo like qrl code or whatever inside um which like leads me to think that it is legit because obviously it's got one of these and like fakes don't really tend to have these but um as i said i don't know much about this brand um 
but I think it is pretty legit. I don't think they're like really super expensive anyway to buy off Depop. Um, so yeah, hopefully we get a nice return on that. I paid uh, £3.99, I think, for this. Um, yeah, £3.99 or £3.49, something like that. But it's on the spreadsheet and I'll put a screenshot of that at the end. Um, so that's a nice little piece. It's always good to come up on something that's quite quite high end. Um, and I picked it out from British Heart Foundation as well with the, with the fleece. Um, and then this next item I got from a Sue Rider. Um, and this is actually the same Sue Rider that I found the Supreme T-shirt at. Um, and there's always some pretty decent items there. I used to get a discount, but I don't anymore because I don't volunteer anymore. Um, but yeah, nice little vintage Reebok jacket with a hood. Um, it's like a navy colorway here. It's like, um, I don't actually know what this material is. It's kind of like a, like, um, a bomber jacket, like a Harrington jacket type material. Um, and then the hoods are just like a cotton, it's like a hoodie, like, like hoodie material that's like sewn in. Um, it is vintage Reebok, as I've said. On the front, it's just got this little logo. I found something pretty much identical to this before, uh, but it wasn't a jacket, it was like a, well it was, it was a track jacket, um, which also had a big print on the back. But this is embroidered, which is really, really nice. Um, and the quality on this is really cool. Um, so hopefully, you know, someone picks it up for like festival season, um, as you know, everyone kind of likes wavy garms at festival season. And then finally, uh, oh, I didn't say how much I paid for that. So that was six pound, as I said, it was from Sue Ryder. Um, and then this final piece was like the come up of the day. Um, it was this champion um, t-shirt in like a kind of teal, like turquoisey color. Really, really nice. Um, I think it's pretty cool. It's like a vintage piece because of like the material you can tell. And it's got the little um, embroidered C on the, with the matching thread on the chest. And it is brand new with tags, which is pretty cool. Um, as you can see here, brand new with tags, size XL, I believe. Um, I actually think this might be from like America. So obviously someone's bought it and then didn't want it anymore. But yeah, really, really nice piece. Um, it's got the little C here on the, uh, the little champion logo on the sleeve as commonly known. And it's even got a, a little strip down here. But yeah, really, really nice piece. Um, I really like the fit on this as well. And the color's really nice. I don't know if I'd suit the color personally. Um, but I think the color's dope. The fit looks really nice, like oversized. Um, and yeah, really happy to pick it that up. I paid £3.50 for that. The tank actually still is on here. Um, I'll show you that one. So if you can see that, that three fifty there, that is the tag that was in the charity shop. Um, so yeah, pick this one up from, I want to say Age Concern, but I'm not 100% sure. It might be the one that's next to it, which I can't remember the name. Um, but yeah, it's it was a, uh, good come up anyway and probably the best one of the episode um so really happy with that and um yeah anyway as i said some things have sold um so let me just go get the spreadsheet i will total it all up and then we'll come back with the uh, sold items and i'll show you this okay so um we've got the spreadsheet here on the side um so we sold the North Face uh, corset that I just showed you and also last week I sold the Adidas track jacket as well. Uh, obviously that's gone now. Um, so for the Adidas track jacket we paid £3.50 for it and sold it for £22 in total including uh, shipping. Um, so not too bad. Uh, and then fees were £3.15 in total. Um, and then £2.95 shipping. So that leaves us with a total of £15.90p, um, which is really nice considering we started with £3.50, uh, £3 uh, so like a £12 profit. Pretty good off uh, or something. It didn't take too long to sell either. Um, and then the North Face Quarter Zip, bought that for £5.99 yesterday, or yeah, yesterday I bought it. And then later that day it sold. Um, for £24, uh, so the fees on that were £3.42 in total um, and uh, £2.90 for shipping also, I'm going to ship that in a minute. Um, so yeah, that was pretty good also. The total from that was £17.63 um, and then that leaves us, I'll put a screenshot now of the uh, spreadsheet that I'm reading off so you can like, 
see see how I've got it laid out. Um, yeah, so it's pretty good so far. We are currently at sixty-two pounds, and obviously we got um, like over ten items still to sell, which is really good. Um, so pretty happy with how things are going so far. I'm gonna work to pick up more items in the week. Um, and then hopefully next week I can come back and show you some more items and also some more sales. Uh, but yeah, so far we have sold £134 worth of things. Um, so can't complain about that and already sold uh, um, and only spent £71. Um, and then our current balance, as I said, will be at the end, but it is 62.81. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, make sure to drop a like. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below, and subscribe if you are new. Uh, please check out my Instagram uh, at Josh Vlogs, and also I'm trying to get uh, some followers on Twitter as well, uh, which is uh, same at on there as well. Um, if you guys uh, use Snapchat a lot, I, I'm probably going to make a Snapchat soon as well to post things on. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, anyway guys, I hope you have a good rest of the week and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.